Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again. Let's randomize our character, see who we might get. We'll return to the deleted soon enough, but we'll do some normal runs for now. We're doing Mastema to the Beast. Whether I'll actually go to the Beast or not is to be determined. I probably should, it's been a little while. If I remember, I'll try to. But that is not at all a guarantee. As for the question of the day today, I haven't looked at my list yet. I have a big old list of question of the days that were sent over to me. Uh, on my Discord, and I need to check them because there are some very quality ones on there that I want to be using. So let's go and find them, shall we? Uh, question of the day. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is an action you regret doing to this day? That's a that's a deep one. That is a deep one. Um, I don't know. That's a, that's a difficult one. That's a really tough one. Ooh, yes, please. It's very bit of a t tough one, but I'll take it. Yeah, that is a really tough question of the day. I, I I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time thinking of thinking of one that that fits well into that. Ooh, it sets these guys on fire. I forgot about that. Yeah, the pyromancy thing, whatever it's called, is really, really good. Damn. Because the thing is, it's not as if I don't have one. There are plenty. I'm just like, which one is, like, for one. Like, sort of not too embarrassing to tell. <laughs> or not too, like, I don't know. I would say not YouTube friendly. It's not like it's anything sexual or anything like that. But, like, what's, like, one that, that, that I feel is fitting for YouTube is probably the best way to put it. You bastard, as if that hit me. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure right now. Honestly, this item is so good. It generates them so quickly as well. What? We have, like, three of them pretty much permanently. So there's our red heart back. Nice. Obviously, it's not going to kill everything in one hit all the time. But on these early floors, it's very strong. Damn. Okay, I'm going to have to have a big old think about this. Um, I mean, one thing that I'd, I'd probably say is, like, when I was a lot... Th th this isn't... It isn't as much a regret because it's not really something that, like, I could have actively stop no it, it kind of is something i could have actively stopped but it's not really something that i would have thought about when i was younger and i mean like a lot younger when i was a child i used to like take the mick out of my sister because that's what siblings do and my sister wasn't the most well-adjusted person uh she's a lot better now um she's like five years younger than me so she's like 18 eight, 19 now 19 sorry um so uh but, but i gotta say like actually it, no, it should be 20 now, damn. I forget. I forget. Um, but, uh, oh, god damn, that was bad. Um, when she was a lot younger, she was, she had a lot of issues. And, yeah, I probably didn't help with that. <laughs> like, so that was kind of a regret. But then again, like I said, I was, I was a kid, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too harsh on myself. I really should just let this guy live and, and take the active item, I realise, but... That's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, there might... Hmm, I was just thinking there's a potential way for us to get an extra charge here. This room will give us one. And I guess we can maybe get one from a secret room. Let's see if we can get a charge from a secret room. It's pretty rare that you get charges from them. We've only got one bomb. But getting an extra charge and get, getting an extra um, eternal heart would be super useful here. I'm going to guess that it's there. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say it's here. Damn it. Um, turn all pickups chests into flies. Um, okay, that's not great. Ace of hearts is pretty good though. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way now for us to get a charge. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an Omega Gamble and take this as well. Hey, okay. We got a rather fiendish run going on here. Okay. Little bit sad that we didn't get anything super great out of that, but we'll keep moving on. We'll keep moving on. I'm trying to think of some other good examples. But, um, I gotta say, one, one example that comes specifically to mind is, um, when, when I was younger... My home city flooded pretty bad, um, and it gave my it gave my sister a deadly fear of like rain and wind when she was younger. It, like she was like really afraid, 
and I just relentlessly took the piss. <laughs> like, I feel bad about it now, but as a kid, like, I don't know. It's ha like, when you're a kid, that's just what it's like, I guess. Anyone that, anyone that has younger siblings probably knows. Some people are really close to their siblings. Uh, I've, I've never not, like, I've never not liked my sister at all, but we've never been close. Um, she actually ended up moving to the same city that I live in now. Of course, I, I moved to another city away from home. Um, to live with my girlfriend because she went to university where we're living now and my sister ended up going to university to the same university and now she lives in the same city as me so my mum's a bit peeved <laughs> that we've both abandoned her um, I don't think she's very happy about it I like the chance to get a blue wisp on killing an enemy that sounds pretty useful I'm hoping I can keep this eternal heart alive I should try and use my ace of hearts at some point but I've I, I want to use it at a point where it's um not only appropriate, but it's going to give us a good amount of hearts. And there's another wisp. This could be a really good trinket, actually. Ooh, cracked keys in here. Hmm. I reckon it's unlikely that the thingy is out of that room, so let's, let's look somewhere else. It also gives us the info that the secret room is right there, which is nice to know. This is kind of a tricky one for, um for finding the ultra secret room. I'm never particularly good at finding ultra secret room, I'll be honest. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna bank on us finding it, but I guess we'll give it our best shout. Oh, but yeah, just, just a moment ago, I, um, because I've been to Greece recently, I've been trying to make some more Greek food at home because it's fantastic. And I made some tzatziki, which is like a, a cucumber sort of, um, Does Brittle Bones kill you on pickup? I don't think it does. Okay, it doesn't. Good. 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 Full health. Damn it, explosive diarrhea. Okay, that was decent. That's that's put us in that's put us in a decent spot here. Um there's also a tinted rock right there that I can't access. So I guess I'm just gonna go off of this room because we don't really have any other good Good ways to go. We got a, sh a shop there. No ultra secret room here, which honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much fine with. I wasn't expecting to find an ultra secret room at all. We got addicted. There's our eternal heart giving us a red heart. Hello, this is, um, oh, this is one of these shops. Okay, um... Hive mind? Hive mind is worth, I think, in this situation. Also, I think that's worth because we heal one and we get a fire rate upgrade. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait, wait. Ultra secret room. I was not expecting you to be here. We get false PhD, which I'll definitely take. Range down for damage up. Range down for damage up. Take the three keys, why not? Okay. That's not bad, that's not bad. That has not ended terribly. I might take the other item as well. I don't even know if I can. I can. I'm gonna take it. Montezuma's Revenge. It's not amazing, but it is decent. It is decent. Okay. This floor was decent. This floor was, was reasonable. We, we gained quite a few items. Oh, dude, that was that was way too close to me there, sir. Okay, he's doing the tail already. I might be able to get a bit of extra damage on him with Montezumas, but I'm not expecting it to be much. Ow. Let's not lose another burn heart. I realize that losing another burn heart isn't particularly bad. One thing that I did kind of misplay on here, which is kind of fine, it is what it is, is, um, of course, you might notice that I didn't actually gain any uh, fire rate increases for losing those burn hearts because I traded them away. So that wasn't particularly a great idea, but hey ho. We'll check Angel Deal here. Um, I think we want the Rosary, yes. Yes, Rosary's decent here. We'll take that. We gained a Holy Mantle for that as well, which is kind of interesting. And I think, sadly we didn't get any bombs, but I think we're good to go now. We could utilize our shop to grab a bomb. 
Because we, we've got a holy mantle here. Just, I'm thinking, a holy mantle's good, but we could get a, a, a small rock, or we could get something better. We could get multiple soul hearts. So I think we come over here. We don't find a bomb. Okay, that kind of ruins that plan. Um, check the other shop then, I guess. So the tinted rock's there. We've got that locked in our sights. There's no bomb here either. Okay, I'll take this in the hope of getting a bomb. Apparently, you can't use um, you can't use a holy mantle charge to get one of the, them to pay out. So that's uh, fantastic. Yeah, this this didn't this didn't work out really in my favor at all, did it? This this was this was pretty terrible. But yeah, I'd really love to hear what your guys' regrets are, because I'm sure there's some interesting ones out there. Um, it, it can it can really vary from person to person. The, the, like, and I, I feel like for the most part with with regrets, you've just got to like sort of learn to like not really dwell on them, because everyone's had those like slightly sleepless nights or just when you're having trouble sleeping, where you just think back and it just plays on your mind, and it's just. At the end of the day, it's just not really worth it. Like, yeah, you've made mistakes in your past, or yeah, you did some cringe in your past, but at the end of the day, it's in the past. Like, the, even even if there was people there to witness it, unless it was something really bad that you did to another person, there's a good chance that whoever was there and witnessed it don't even remember it, so... It's, it's just not, not really worth dwelling on. It's definitely difficult not to, but I, I feel like it's pretty important to try not to. Because, yeah, I, I've been there before. Where you, you just think about something you've done in your past. And you, you all, even if it's just something that makes you cringe. And all you can think about is it and nothing else. Getting a lot of soul heart drops, which is kind of nice. Right, keep moving along. That Ace of Hearts there was pretty useful as well, wasn't it? Um, oh, that was a one-hit KO for all of those guys. And we're getting a good amount of Wisps out of our Trinket as well, which is really nice. Item Rumor, Item Room. Where are you now? Okay, so this guy's split into a bunch. I probably should have just done that to start with and blow everything up. Oh, my little dude stuck at the other side. Look. Poor little fella. Not great on that side, but I will take this side. We got Grabber, which... Uh, Grabber's pretty worthless. He he grabs enemies and tugs them around, which normally is, is more detrimental than it is helpful, but... I don't know. We'll let him do his thing. He's a, he's kind of a cutie. He's kind of a cutie. We'll, we'll let him... We'll let him get on with it. Oh, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, made some tzatziki sauce. And it's, it's like cucumber, dill garlic and olive oil uh, and obviously greek yogurt and oh my lord it's just one of the best tasting sauces ever like i'd call it a dip more than a sauce but anyways i had like a, a pita with a like chicken and a bit of onion and tzatziki and oh my god it was it was divine it was it was absolutely divine it was a blessed experience explode big fool I do think that's one thing that I can like safely say that everyone should learn to do is learn how to cook at least halfway decently. Like obviously that that I just described wasn't really cooking; it was just making a pita, like make, essentially just making a sandwich. But yeah, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm you, quite surprised. Oh my god, dude! Don't don't grab the bomb flies. I'm always quite surprised by how many people don't really care about food. Like. As, as, as a big foodie, it's always really surprising when there's like, I've got a few friends that basically food to them is just sustenance to stay alive and nothing else. They will eat the most bare bones, basic meals and get on with their day. And I just, I can't fathom that. I can't, I, I just, that's something that I can't ever understand. Like, I feel like food is one of the greatest joys that, that, that humans can experience. We've done so much to advance it, and so much to, to like, um, bring the experience just to the point where it's, yeah, it really is an experience. You can have some really, really memorable things from food, and obviously food defines a lot of our memories, and um, it can define uh, our personality somewhat as well. 
Uh, and yeah, I just, I can never really get it when people just don't really care about food. Like, there is some jobs and some people out there that it is just unfortunate that, like, you either don't have enough money or don't have enough time to spend the time to learn to cook or spend the time to, to just cook a good meal. And you just gotta eat what you can so you can get on with your day. I kind of understand that. But especially when you've got the time, you've got the energy, you've got the money to, to spend a bit of time learning how to cook and cook some really nice meals. It'll always baffle me why people don't go to the extra effort. Like, my, my girlfriend is, she, she's become more of a foodie since we've got together, but she's still got a slight mindset of, um, like, the other day we were going to make um, egg fried rice and I wanted to make it all from scratch. I wanted to make um, make the rice. I wanted to, like, make all the spices and sauces and, like, make a proper egg fried rice, where she was like, why don't we just buy a packet rice and stick some egg in it? And I was like, ah, ah, that pains me, but okay. Cause she, she just wants to eat the food quick. <laughs> she, she's hungry now, she wants the food. Oh, he pats me on the head. I just have to quickly check. Will grab a hurt things. Double Isaac's heart. Now, how would that work? I feel like I have to find out. It didn't even give me two Isaac's hearts. I feel absolutely, absolutely devastated. Oh, it does deal damage. Okay, okay. So this trinket makes uh, all familiars deal contact damage, and the grabber can now grab enemies and deal contact damage to them. That's that, that's pretty, pretty amazing. I like that a lot. Like, he's not going to grab onto things very reliably, but... Also, it might work with my little familiar dudes, my little uh, demon buddies. I don't know. I'm just going to go back here quickly and go into the cash room, because I can get it in there for free now. Just quickly got a check. I can open that for free. Sadly, it wasn't really worth anything to me. Okay. I think I want to take Bag of Bobbies here. Simply because I think having more familiars around is going to be good. And I don't think we want to use the, um, the spikes in that room. Because for one, I don't even know if they'd work. But also, too, I think I need my health. The sanguine bond spikes like this. But yeah, Bag of Bobbies is pretty good with um, familiars dealing contact damage. Because if we gather up a bunch of familiars, we can basically run a train into enemies and deal a bunch of damage to them, which I think is fun. The idea of that sounds saucy. But yeah, Isaac's Heart is an item that I, um, I think is very good. I think it gets underrated quite a lot. I, it's, it's not an item for everyone. Like, it definitely takes a bit of skill. And a, and I wouldn't even say skill as much as just getting used to it. But I really, really like it. Why can't I hit this enemy with the fireballs? I'm having such a hard time of it. Right, let's just go and use the devil card in here now. Ooh, this is a kind of a tough boss here. I'm just going to clear out some of the rocks now. I know that he'll do it for us in some capacity, but still. Okay, these little dudes crit this guy. That's nice. Okay, we've got a pretty good amount of damage gathered up here. And we get ourselves some Sockies. Thank you. To be fair, that is good. It does repair our range. I also need to remember to be taking pills if I see them. I can't remember if I've, if I've dodged any so far. I don't think I have. Yeah, I might as well clean up a few rest of these rooms here. Shops aren't super useful for us because they don't actually take money. But still worth having a little look at. We've got a lot of champions in here. Goddamn, these, these like fireballs have a very specific hitbox. They're very, very easy to miss. Um, all wisps have double, eh. That would be good if we still have the other trinket, but I'm going to stick with what I've got right now. I, th I think what we've got is a pretty interesting setup. I like it when you get something like this where kind of a, a more niche trinket can define your build somewhat. I like that. I think that's something that you don't see too often in runs, and I mean... Isaac is still to this day like one of the best games for like build variety like especially when you're playing modded There is still so many synergies that I've literally never ever seen and while there is some runs that you get that are similar There's not a lot Really not a single item sad times 
We did get ourselves a burn heart though, which I'm going to lose immediately. I was going to try and lose immediately, but the game didn't want it. Okay, fair enough. God damn, so many little dudes in there. Pill. It's a tears down? I don't care. Tears down. I'd rather have the damage than tears at this point. But good. We did lose our eternal heart there. That's a bit of a bummer. Tis what it is though. Our health isn't terrible right now, so I don't mind. As long as I always have like two red hearts, I'm pretty happy. I love the fact that Grabber can deal damage now. <laughs> we, we turned him into like a pretty useless familiar into an actual kind of machine that just goes around grabbing things and dealing damage to them. Also, what is going on with our eyes right now? Magic skin, you say? Magic skin, you say? Okay. Magic skin's a bit of a strange one. It can be a little tricky to utilize but I like it. That actually hit me, are you kidding? Right, good, good. I don't think a quality is really our style. These guys are pretty tricky because we need to keep our heart out of the way of them. I just love the fact that the heart can push things back. You still gotta be careful with it. We we did just lose our burn heart there, but again, I don't really mind losing our burn heart because we um oh gosh. we gained some stuff off of it. Sam, sadly, no soul hearts there. We gained some um, tears off of it, so I don't really mind losing a burn heart. Okay, what's going on with these diagonal walking dudes? I've not seen them before. I don't really get what they did, but they didn't really do much to me, so I don't mind. This is depth one, so we can just do the boss now. Sister Viz ain't so bad. We need to use um, our butt spew a little more often. I'm not really using that that much. Kind of a wasted opportunity. You're going to roll at me? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, big boy. <laughs> the grabber can still grab bosses. That's fantastic. And latchkey's decent enough. I like the look upgrade. I much prefer the soul heart. Ooh. Reflected, I didn't even realise, but we have Isaac's heart, so the Reflected doesn't do any damage to us. Another bonus of um, Isaac's heart when you're playing modded. Reflected items are far more valuable. I, I think Reflected items are, like, one of the most genius additions. The fact that it can affect consumables and actual items as well. Just such, such a great idea. And, like, an even more incentive to go to the downpour so you can destroy the mirror and get a higher chance for Reflecteds. I just think that's just a genius, genius player by the developer. Yes. I, I I really can't wait to see what um, what comes next with um, Prian's packs. I do realize that like at the minute he's taking a bit of a break from modding. I, th I think he is gonna come back at some point. I know that he was like halfway through making a pack. I don't know when, when that's gonna get released, um, but honestly, he's done enough for the modding community forever. If he never comes back, I would not mind whatsoever with the creations he's already put out there. I'd be sad to see him go, but at the same time, He's very much earned his rest. <laughs> right. Not great on that side. I'll take this one. The trail, very much not very great. We should try and find our secret room so we can utilize um, our active a little more in some capacity. I love these ghosts. Soul heart there for me. Thank you. Yeah, let's try and find our secret room real quick. This isn't an XL floor, is it? No, it's just a big floor. It could very easily be below here. There you go. Nice. Let's pop this. Okay. That's, uh... That's how we do that. The, the problem now is that we have used magic skin and it will appear again. That is a slight issue, of course. I'm gonna bomb this to... Oh no, I didn't even need to. Yeah, that is a slight issue, of course. We're gonna now probably get magic skin a few times. So 
probably from this point onwards, I'd, I'd advise not buying um, anything that's unknown unless it's costing more than a single heart. Because I think magic skin is a single heart cost. If it costs a single heart, I feel like it's too risky because it's just got a decent likelihood of being magic skin and wasting health. So we'll, we'll forego that. But Arky, quite nice. Wasn't expecting an Arky run. I'll certainly take one. Quickly just check the secret room here. And here. Sadly nothing. Anyways, we'll make our way down. Yeah, kind of a beautiful run so far. I'm hoping we just get more familiars, especially ones that move independent of us, um, so we can get some familiar um, contact damage. There's some really insane setups you can get with certain familiars with this trinket. I've had a few. Excuse me, you move? Okay. Also, there's one of these guys about. Um, can someone explain to me why this room isn't over? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, that was kind of scary. The good thing is as well now we have like a panic button where if things start to go awry, if things start to look a little bleak in terms of our HP, we can just pop the R key real quick and get out of trouble. Also, that's a tint rock there. Beautiful. Health is not looking too bad whatsoever. I forget how the spider guy works, I'll be honest. I'm just going to push him away with my heart until he fucks off. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, things ain't going so bad at all. Okay, the spike blocks are really pushing that guy around. Yeah, probably going to get quite a lot more items this run. Uh, I don't know whereabouts I'm going to go. And maybe I'm just going to go to the end of this floor and then R key, to be honest. Because we stop, we stop getting item rooms after this point. See, there's magic skin. See, this can't be magic skin, so we'll take it. It's Incubus. I'm very glad I took it. Not only a familiar, but a good one too. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be seeing magic skin a good amount. That is always the trade-off when you take an active after using it. So that's sad we don't have like um, school bags so we can just hold both. Okay, bombed you. That should kill you. There you go. Make our way across. I keep getting hit because I forget I've got Isaac's heart. I mean, it's fine. It is what it is. I, I, I signed up for this. I wonder if uh, this is like for Arky. It'd be interesting if this was a uh, tainted treasure room for Arky. I don't think that exists, but... Ooh, this is interesting. Friendly flies and spiders no longer um, attack automatically and can deal damage multiple times. Flies launch themselves in the direction you're firing. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Okay, we're just gonna get a bunch of stats down here for um, a bunch of hearts and stats. Damage wise, I mean. The speed downs have not been great, but otherwise, this has been pretty useful. Yeah. I'd say that was pretty good going. We lost a lot of shot speed and a lot of movement speed, but otherwise, I'd say pretty good. And we got the quarter out of this, which isn't super useful, but there you go. And it's magic skin in the shop. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Oh my god, we are moving slow. Yeah, so priority number one is definitely a speed upgrade. That's what we need immediately. Have we seen our item room this floor? We have. Okay, so let's let's go fight the boss. We can't do boss rush, unfortunately. Okay, nice. 
take a bit of damage there. We do get ourselves a devil deal or angel deal, but I'll definitely take the angel. And it's magic skin again. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's going to be um, a recurring segment. But I will at least take it and pop it once to see what we get here. And that's not a bad one at all. Um, I'm going to pop this, go back to the first floor. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's just keep moving forward. Probably an early Aki usage, I know, but I, 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 I'm I, fine with that. Blood Splosion is pretty good. So this is this is the good thing um, that we're able to... What character are we playing as again? Why do we have uh, the Void inside us? What character were we playing as? Mastema. <laughs> I'm like, where's this Void coming from? Um... I was going to say something, but that distracted me. We've got Greg the Egg in here. Um, he is quite cute. I will take Greg the Egg. Mainly because he can now deal damage, which I feel is, is, is kind of funny. We've weaponized Greg the Egg. But also, he will give us an item in good time, so I do not mind. Money is completely valueless to us, so I'm just not going to bother with that. That's good. I'll take that. I'm going to pop this. We do need a good active item to go with our fireworks. That's a really strong item if you can get a decent active. I think a three-room charge is like the best bang for your buck. Because it gives you more fireworks depending on the, how many charges it had. Oh god. Just throwing heads everywhere. <laughs> Grabber's doing a good job. Blood explosion going off. Magic skin's back again. Honestly, my button look is pretty good. People always say that never press buttons, but honestly, my look with them ain't too bad. It really ain't. More damage. And our shot speed as low as it can go, so we didn't even get a damage down. Uh, we didn't even get a shot speed down, just a damage up. Pretty good in my books. Yeah, our number one priority right now is just our speed is horrendous. That hit me. Okay. I kind of forgot that Isaac's heart was there in the in the blast radius. It's just with having, with having so many familiars, it's hard to keep a track of where Isaac's heart's at. As you can probably tell. I'm having trouble with that. Good. That's a very, very good active, but we don't need it. Well, I mean, we do, but uh, it would co it would cost us quite a lot of our current HP. But it's a it's an active that's hard to understand by reading the text. But once you get used to it, it's actually very very good. I think we had that in the last episode, maybe was it, or was the episode before? I can't quite remember. Beautiful. There's another one of these. Another syringe Rooney. Hallowed Ground isn't that good, but I'm going to take it for the pure reason that it's a familiar. And basically, at this point, I don't really care what the familiar does. I just want my familiar train to be longer so that we have a higher chance of them running into enemies. We will definitely crack this open. Wow, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Apparently the bag enemies, those guys, you got to let them get close to you before you kill them. And they can drop stuff for you. Pretty useful knowledge. These guys give a soul heart on death, right? A doubled soul heart. Booyah, baby. They're pretty rare. We've been seeing a lot of the extra quality of life stuff from the new mods I added, which is nice. That is one of them, being able to get doubled soul hearts. Ooh, damn. Lost my holy mantle there. We got flush. I'll take flush. Just because it's an active item, we don't have one right now. It's not a great active item. Oh, we got the Urkrap transformation, though. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. 
Yeah, if any room gets a bit too funky for us, we can use the uh, flusher to let off some fireworks. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Ah, oh, no. I was seeing if maybe there'd be a synergy with the hollowed ground. Not that it would matter too much, because obviously all the enemies in the room are dead. But it'd be good for bosses. If it would create all of them into hollowed grounds. Nice. Right. Boss time. Yeah, so far, so... F Sorry, I had to sneeze. I'm going to have to do another one. God, the double pause there. That was that was quick. Click on my fingers with the pause button. Oh my lord. Two huge sneezes. I apologize. Book of Virtues is good here. I'll take that. That did put our health very low though. Oh god. Yeah, that put our health very, very low. I don't even know what the Book of Virtues flush whisper does. Freebie, thank you. We got detailed respawns now as well. I forgot about that. I really need to, need to use flush when I'm near the exit door so I can use the fireworks in the next room. Oh, wait, that's a trinket. No, no, no. I have a trinket that I love very dearly right now. Pop this, walk into this room. Get some firework damage going on. Yes, look at those fireworks. Doing a great job. But yes, yeah, so I think what we want to do is we want to walk into a room. We want to get near the edge of the room, so like this. Then we flush and we walk into the next room to utilize the fireworks in the following room. And it seems for every single enemy we kill using flush, we get a wisp. I'm curious. I'm guessing they're just blockers and block damage, but I'm not 100% sure. Our health isn't looking great right now. I did take some risks earlier. Scratcher card could be good. It was indeed, but we don't need money, so not really that good. Okay, this just sets these on fire. That's not great. Blood Explosion's doing a great job, though. So many fireworks. I love it. Okay. I didn't get into my cash room. I keep forgetting about that. Right. Check our tinted treasure room here. This is the teleport directly to home. Spawns a cracked key in Isaac's room alongside 20 other random pickups. Do you know what? That is tempting. That is tempting. So I was going to go do the beast. So, but the only thing, the only caveat to that, the only thing that's stopping me right now is it teleports us directly to home. It doesn't let us go through the ascent, which scares me a little bit because our health is so bad right now. If we could gain more health this floor, I'd certainly consider it, but I'm going to say that that's not going to happen. Yeah, now Flush is useful even if it's not going to kill the boss. Beautiful. Speed up. Holy hell. Okay, sadly nothing useful in there for us. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no to it. I, I was certainly thinking about it. I was certainly thinking about it, but it's a li if, it, if it had showed up this floor, this following floor, then I think I said, I'd have said yes, but my health is just way too low to risk it. I don't know if I, even with the damage I've got right now, I don't know if I could kill the beast with this setup. That is a soul heart. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's free anyways. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> Little nightmare buddies. I love all the fireworks going around. It's beautiful. The unknown. I, I popped that as a risk because we could have got an error room there. There's a, like a 10% chance those cards just give you an error room. Okay, 
the nice. Da, 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 da. I don't know what's blowing up rocks, by the way. There's definitely something we have in our repertoire here that's uh, blowing up rocks every now and again. And I'm not sure what it is because these little fireballs don't blow up rocks. Okay, you make your way back over there. You fool. Welcome this way. Look at our train. Our train has become quite long. Ooh, hello. You guys are uh, a little tricky. You survived the flushing? How dare you? Okay, here's our boss. Oh, the little dude. I love him. What a cute little fella. Bunch of trinkets. No, thank you. Ooh, it's Loki. I wasn't expecting Loki with two turrets. That is a, a fairly difficult room design. I respect it, but a little scary. If I didn't have this much damage, it would have been kind of hard. Maytag Trinket Gold. I'm... I'm intrigued by that. I wonder if it doubles the amount of contact damage they do, or if it's a trinket that just doesn't have an effect. Because I feel like doubling the amount of contact damage familiars do could be insane. What was that? Was that a shot speed down? Oh, yes, it was. Hell yes. A nothing down for a 0 0.36 damage up. I'll take it. Oh, the ghosties over here, look. Sadly, we went every way but the right way towards the item room. Right, we need to find our fool card on the next floor. Oh, we can just grab that hermit card, actually. That'll work just fine. So I don't forget. It's a beast beggar. The beast beggars are pretty cool, but they do take full red hearts, and right now I, I can't really sacrifice a full red heart. Dude, this floor's huge. What's going on? Damn it. I was interested to see what happened if I flushed those guys, but I did it a bit too early. Sadly, an active we don't care about and an item we don't want to take. Right. Let's get back on. But yeah, so far, I think this run's going pretty well. For an R key run, I think we've got some fun stuff going on. we got some interesting stuff. Our tiers are good. we got some good stuff with the little uh, fiend guys, the fiend fireballs as well. The flush synergy is kind of cool. And then we have like the contact damage familiar train, which is just kind of fun. A little bit different. I like it. The Bag of Bobbies. Bag of Bobbies is just a really cool item in general. We didn't get the Hermit card, so we're going to have to remember to get my Fool card. But I'm not going back now. I can't be asked. Right. Remember to find the Fool card. Remember to find the Fool card. Remember to find the Fool card. We already have the Polaroid, so we have no reason to fight Mum. We could get the negative for doing so, but basically it depends on which we find first. Which now that I say it makes no sense, because if we find the full card after the mum fight, we won't be able to use it to get out of the mum fight, so ignore me. I love the fact that poop enemies actually flush. Tinted rock over there. I'll come back for that. Dude, just die. There's still another enemy in here? What the hell? Oh, thank you, Greg the Egg. Thank you for giving me magic skin. Again. You've really been a blessing in disguise. What a beauty he is. Okay. That's a flushable room if I've ever seen one. 
So there's our boss. We don't have a teleport out yet, though, so we can't do the boss. Crack that open. Make our way across. It's always annoying when you just can't find the tinted skull. There's just nowhere to be seen. Also, what is going on with this fucking dude? He won't die. Come on now. This is ridiculous. Where the hell's the tinted skull? I remember like when Repentance first came out and I first found out about the tinted skull. I was amazed. I was like, such a good idea. I was like, oh my god, it's such a good idea to have this. There's that item room at least. We found that. Euthanasia, I will take. It's a little bit risky, but Spun was one of the reasons. There it is. But also, we have a little bit of luck going for us, so Euthanasia has a, has a place. Right, we got the full card. just realized something. Because I already had the Polaroid, I never needed the Fool card. What the fuck was I so obsessed with the Fool card for? I even mentioned the fact that I have... That is a small brain moment right there. I hope you all enjoyed that, because that was... Well, yeah, I guess we're fighting Mum now. That was something. That was something, indeed. I, for some reason, I had it in my brain that I needed the Fool card to um, to use on the next floor. I don't know why. But we got our Devil and Angel deal, at least, so it wasn't for nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say best player ever. Fake brain illness to uh, get Sacred Heart. I'm going to say that that was pretty positive. So, uh, you can laugh at me all you want, but I get results. Right, time to find out how low our health is. It's not that low at all. Great. But yeah, with Sacred Heart in the mix now, we, we completely have this in the bag. Hello. Underground big boy. Definitely should have used flush on this room. But oh well. Is there another enemy in here that I've not seen yet? Oh, you bastard. Stop making these. Toast's just everywhere. Chain chomp. And then big boy. Sadly obsessed fan is not really what we're looking for. Taken out. Okay, keep her going. I do have the visible damage multiplier mods on, or at least I'm supposed to, so I'm not sure why they're not showing up. It's so cool because Flush basically gives us two free rooms. Okay. After all that, we are here. We have made it. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. What do you mean? What do you mean it's gone? How could you have spent our savings? Okay. Ooh, hello, a little shop. Buy magic skin if we want. Thanks for the offer, but I'm fine, thanks. No thanks, I'm full. The other item was magic skin. Glad I didn't take it. I just had to check to make sure. The blood explosion's going so well with this. Also, the game seems to be getting confused if we're a mausoleum or not there. It was like flickering red. Oh no, it's doing it on this floor as well. Oh 
Go into stuff with your scythes and stuff. Yeah, it's like flickering red as we enter the room. I don't know if you can see that. Hero font there is beautiful. Prayer card's pretty good too. Okay, it does not flush enemies that have invulnerability phases. D did not know that. Okay. Yeah, it's like a weird flash as, as you enter a room where it's the wrong color. Yeah, no thanks, guys. I can't be asked waiting for your bullshit. Damn it. I'm going to wait for it anyways because I went to the wrong room. Guess I'll take the crack key with me since it's here. Yay, we flushed a dingle boss. I didn't even mean to do that, I just love that it happened. Damn it, I'm going the wrong way a lot right now. It doesn't usually happen. I love it when you do the ascent and you gain health. It's always so satisfying. Also, the ascent music's pretty good. Whoa, is that a tainted version of that enemy? I've not really seen many of the tainted enemies on the Ascent. I think that's a tainted version of that enemy. So, yeah, because there's, there's, there's a few new tainted Fiend Folio enemies, I think. Don't know why he's flushed there, don't ask me. Light inside you. Get a few eternal hearts going. Although it only gives us a half. I think with Mastema, once you get to like the certain floor, it only gives you a half soul heart rather than a full red heart. Because ba basically it's like, early on it's for trading red hearts, but then later on you don't need to trade anymore. So it gets nerfed a bit later on, which is a good idea. I haven't really thought about it the first time I played him, but oh look, it's a mega one of them too. That's pretty cool. Is that a mega B? Oh, it is. That's a very mega B. I was wondering if it had flushed these guys or not since they're flying. It did not. Look at this big dude. Then we got these guys. Jumpy beasts. <laughs> That's cool. And whatever that guy is. Euthanasia is just killing him instantly, though, so we don't have to worry too much. That's a new fatty guy. I don't know what he does. The amount of tears we're firing out right now is insane. I'm guessing it's down this way. Nope. We can flush all of this. Oh, we got a shop as well. Magic skin. <gasps> Not magic skin. What the hell? We were able to buy an item. That's crazy. Never happens to this character. There you go. Last floor. Where are you going? Yes, yeah, so we're just getting a bunch of half soul hearts here, but they're stacking up. Big turd boy. Yeah, Fl Flush is such an insanely good active. People underrate it so much. I mean, it used to be a six-room charge, but now with Fiendfolio, with it being... With Fiendfolio, with Repentance, it being a four-room charge. So good. Pins and needles. That guy's kind of crazy. Oh my god, he just keeps going. He's pretty cool. Okay, it's boss time. I do have a mod installed that could potentially change the beast fight as well, so we'll see. Ooh, the music in here is different too. I definitely heard this before, but it's been a while, so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's like church organs. Okay. 
Right. Let's destroy this Murpha. I'm just keeping my familiars over the top of the TV to deal as much damage as possible. Okay. Health isn't great, but don't worry about it too much. Oh. <laughs> I bloody hate it when he does this attack straight away. Also, with Isaac's heart, this attack is not easy. Isaac's heart tends to like to either jump right in the way of him or right in the way of the feathers. How many dashes do you have to do? It's too many. Right, there you go. Not great health coming into this, but we do have a revive now, so not too bad. Not too bad. Push for fireworks. Oh, he's doing some blood explosions like crazy here. Also, Isaac's heart isn't particularly great for this phase either. I forgot about that too. God damn, the blood explosions are crazy on this guy. Also, I installed the beast laughs whenever you get hit, which is fucking cool. Such a good addition. Look at that. <laughs> so good. Okay, yeah, we're just going to see how this goes. We've not got a great lot of health, so I'm not super confident, but at the same time, we have a lot of power, so... And also, we're going to be summoning more and more of our little buddies. What even hit me then? Oh god, look at how many of them there is. Holy shit, there's so many of them. God damn. If they stick around for, till the end of the fight, they're going to be insane. And I think they do. I think they, they'll, they last for an entire room, which this entire fight count, counts as one room, so... Sadly, I don't think the new thing is showing up. I installed a mod that adds Ultra Conquest into the game. Like, there's all the Ultra Bosses, but there's no Ultra Conquest. Someone made a mod that adds Ultra Conquest. But, um, I don't see him in the background. I think that's death. Okay, yeah, the little dudes are destroying right now. The amount of blood, it's insane. I love it. Yeah, this is death. Sadly, no Ultra Conquest to, to, to take a little look at. <laughs> oh, just a massive bony blood explosions. You're facing the wrong way, doofus. Right, we have three hearts for the beast. In a lot. Yeah, this music, this music goes hard. Right, go my little pretties. <laughs> okay, no, we are, we are demolishing him right now. Uh, I don't know what hit me there. Holy shit, the music's going hard. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, Isaac's heart. I'm like, what's hitting me? The stalagmites keep hitting Isaac's heart because I can't actually... Get him out of the way. Okay, no, I'm probably going to die due to Isaac's heart here, I think. I didn't really think about how devastating Isaac's heart is on this phase. And the stalagmites here. Okay, and what I might have to do here is I might have to destroy the stalagmites. So that, um... Why can't I fire at these things? Oh god, I lit literally can't fire because my shot speed's so low. Okay, just focus on him. That was kind of tricky at the end there, but we did it. We did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A fantastic run there. Absolutely loved it. I'll see you guys in the next one.